What's happening, gang? It's your boy Retro back again with another reaction video. Yeah, yeah. So we got another huge update. You guys can probably already tell where it's going down by the title. We got another explosion on the set. ABC's the view as we have the view host freaking out, absolutely losing it over the thought of a potential debate between Kamala Harris. Donald Trump, I already know this one's going to be a sight to see, record-breaking Trump derangement syndrome in that room. So we're to get straight into it and I'll save my thoughts, guys. Just make sure you guys hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, doesn't cost you one thing, guys. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, let's get into it, guys. You know what it sounds to me? Sounds like the people who call folks snowflakes are snowflaking. Sounds to me like somebody's running a little scared. Chicken, chicken, chicken. Quack, quack. Yeah. No, I... Scared. The enemy I... <laughs> See, um, I, I, I do like um, what you're saying, Alyssa, about the lack of, of, of messaging. It just there's no message discipline here. But I love the way she handled it, because back in the day, you know, journalists in the days of like, let's say, Walter Cronkite and and, well, and people wouldn't have done that to Walter. Pe people yeah, people would wouldn't have, have done, done that. that. But uh, or Peter Jennings, you know, you, you always saw and gave opportunity for both sides. It was it was what journalism was, I think. Lester Holt said it best. Journal, our, our world is different now. Mm -hmm. We yeah, journalism is totally different now. In journalism, you can just take it and take it all the way to the next level. We've seen the left, the crazy lefties losing it in their journalism, their you know, lamestream media lies, the fake news, the cheap fakes that Biden likes to say is all being used against him, but in all actuality, it's against Trump. Yeah, the media, journalism has definitely shifted, guys. I'll say that much. And as far as Anna Navarro mocking in the beginning, I'm really blown away. Like, who is she mocking, right? We all know what's going to Kamala Harris steps up any even near the debate stage. Donald Trump is going to blow her out the water. We're already, we're already seeing that she's scared. She's the one chicken, if anything, dodging reporters, dodging the media. You know, she's not answering any questions. I don't think she's answered a question in 17 days. They said that's a record breaking guys like who was scared? Not Trump. Lester Holt said it best. Journal, our, our world is different now. Mm -hmm. We are in the world of alternative facts as created by uh, our favorite person, Kellyanne Conway. And when he was receiving the Edward uh, R. Murrow Award for Lifetime Achievement in 2021, he said this, he said, I think it's become clear that fairness is overrated. The idea that we should always give two sides equal weight and merit does not reflect the world we find ourselves in. Decisions to not give unsupported arguments equal time are not a dereliction of jur journalistic responsibility or some kind of agenda. In fact, it's just the opposite. Our duty to be... Is is to be fair to the truth. And that's what she was doing. She was being fair to the truth. She was trying to get to the facts. She refused to get to the facts. She instead wanted to sort of, it was ad hominem. I don't even, that, this just seems so contradictory to hear Sonny Hostin on the set of The View talking about she's trying to get to the facts, guys, trying to get to the, what facts, what, we already know the, the View is the most Trump deranged show there is out there, guys. There is no reality, there is no, um, you know, truth to what they're saying. It's all a bunch of projection, media lies, and gaslighting. We know what The View does, so for Sonny Hostin to be sitting here preaching about getting to the bottom of the truth, I just, I, I just, this is whole, this disregard this whole statement by, or this whole segment by Sunny Hope. What is she talking about, you know? Come on. She refused to get to the facts. She instead wanted to sort of, it was ad hominem uh, uh, attacks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when that happens, you cut the mic. You cut yeah. the mic, and that's what she did. Well, you know, listen. <laughs> There goes, there goes Sonny Host and preaching for some more censorship, though. You cut the mic. When they're going against your agenda, you cut the mic. No, that's crazy. They, she just admitted guilt right there. That's what she did. Well, you know, listen. <laughs> if you don't have anything to say, mm -hmm. you blab. You just go on and 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 on I'm glad that this is literally what Whoopi Goldberg sounds like when she yaps on the daily. I'm glad she can hear herself and she knows and at least realizes what she sounds like when she's yapping on and on and on and on. Oh my goodness. But 
it's just media. This is a projection at this point. You know, they're trying to gaslight their viewers to believe that it's the right that's doing these things. All these word salads. You know, we've seen Kamala Harris go on and on and on. When she doesn't have a teleprompter, she definitely does go on and on and on. She doesn't talk about much substance. It's more so of her dancing around in a circle, you know, on the same point. We know Kamala. We know how Kamala Harris gets down. I mean, Whoopi Goldberg right here pointing the finger at the wrong person. I'll just say that. Put the blame on yourself first. That's what you hear. Yeah. When they don't have anything to hold you with, nothing to make you think about what they have to say, they talk at you, not to you. And that's what she was doing. And she was doing it. And it's not new. Mm -hmm. No. But everybody's hip to you all now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we are anticipating that you are not prepared. Because you keep saying you going and you preparing when you're on the... Man, I'll say it right now. There is no preparation needed. Anytime, any day, you just said, like Trump, he said this, mo I've seen him come out multiple interviews or multiple, uh, yeah, press conferences, interviews where he said, you know, anytime, any day, you said the time, you said the date. I'm pretty sure at the... Uh, uh, Kamala Harris was supposed to show up at the NABA or NABJ conference. It didn't even show up, guys. So right there shows you who's actually afraid, who actually is unprepared versus who's you know ready any time of the day. Donald Trump showed up and got attacked. Like, come on, guys. On the trail. Well, okay. Yeah. We <laughs> shall see. Donald Trump has been doing Donald Trump. You know, whatever it is that that he does. And I, I couldn't agree with you more. I think and they I just think, blab for the well, purpose of blabbing. I think it's also why the debates blabbing. matter. Both ABC and CNN, you're going to have credible journalists with terms where they can turn off microphones. The debates definitely matter. That's what we are. That's what everyone on the right is like. Come on, Ka Kamala Harris can do all this showboat and this dance around, parading around that she's been doing at these rallies, you know, trying to get people amped up behind all these, you know, ce celebrity endorsements that she, she and her campaign are wasting, blowing donation money on. Um, You know, they can try to do all that to say they're doing so well, but we can see straight through it, guys. Put her on the debate stage and let's see what she really is about. You know, we, we can't really get your policy or what you stand for with all these you know, celebrity endorsements, all that clouding up what you actually stand for. We want to see who the real Kamala Harris is. And I feel like the debate is the only way we can get that, guys. We just didn't platform Donald Trump. He doesn't say anything. We live in a democratized media where he is going to reach people even if networks and cables don't platform him. It's better for him to be in front of credible people who will challenge him on facts and be able to hold him accountable. And it's a reminder that journalists have always had political opinions, but their job is to be a moderator. It's like yeah. judges and lawyers who have their own personal beliefs. The job is to moderate, ask yeah. questions. It does not mean you're absent of thought. Yes. Can, well, can I just add one last thing? What was uh -huh. Interesting to me is Dan Rather weighed in um, on mm -hmm. X, and he said uh, he compared our time now to the Nixon era, which was a little scary for me. But he said, "Enough with both sides ism. When one side lies intentionally and repeatedly, they are no longer entitled to the benefit of the doubt." And we should keep. So who we not give up now? Nah, and when you read that that point right there, and it states. We got to no longer give them the benefit of doubt. Who does that? Who are we referencing right there? Because all the figures on the right have been attacked, honest and truthful about all their, you know, their motives, their agenda, and what they'll do to, you know, benefit their policies. It's going to benefit America versus on the left. It's been very, you know, fabricated, gaslighty. I mean, it's just been lie after lie. So if anyone's going to be discredited, not getting the benefit of doubt, be you guys. Stop pointing the finger at us. Point the finger at you. You know what I mean? Come on, guys. Hold up. It's intentionally and repeatedly, they are no longer entitled to the benefit of the doubt. And we should keep in mind, too, that the people that need to hear this are the people who are running the networks that are okaying this. Because this idea, it's like they say to you now, we, you can only uh, work within this perimeter. Mm -hmm. But if the facts don't, if the facts are not clear to people, that was what a journalist was there to do, yeah. to say, in fact, this is what went on and this is how we checked. Now, we all have, the, we've been given doubts that people don't know how to do this. The media has pretty much always been <laughs> fair to each side. Oh, I don't know. I I mean, it has up until I feel like Donald Trump. Donald Trump is just a different level of low. I mean, we've had our media spins where we see, you know, the left will spin and a little bit of spin. But with Donald Trump and that Trump derangement syndrome, I feel like it takes things to the next level. You know, there is no uh, we can play fair or good sportsmanship. No.
It's straight low blow after low blow. It's, I mean, come on, the lamestream media, left-wing media outlets, that's who's doing it. Pretty much always been <laughs> fair to each side. Mm -hmm. And now when we've gone to this place where you only hear this, see, we have to tell you both sides. That's why Alyssa's here, that's why Anna's here, because- I don't know if they have to tell us both sides. And she's saying that's why Alyssa here and that's why Anna's here. But I mean, wasn't Alyssa the one who betrayed Donald Trump? She was in his cabinet and betrayed him to come. No, come on. Now, this is who you're going to use as your, your Republican talking head on your. No, this is our representation. We don't want her. No way. This is who you're. We, 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 we no way. I just can't believe what this is like getting through my head. This, she really just said this lady that was a traitor, Alyssa Fair Griffin is the one who's going to represent the Republican Party on The View. Guys, oh my, get out of town. <laughs> I can't believe it right now. Listen to her again. I'm, I'm going to have to tell you both sides. That's why Alyssa's here. That's why Anna's here. Because we don't all think the same way. And it's like you all. You all don't think the same way. So you want to hear what other people say. But when they're lying, we can't have it. No. We, can't, we can't allow on this show to have things said that we know for a fact are not true. Mm -hmm. Bro, oh my, my whole, my mind is blown right now. She, the, what, what she's saying goes against the, the whole agenda, the message, the, whatever this, the show stands, but this show was built upon lies. I don't understand where she's saying that we can't have people out here selling things that we know to be lies. Like this is the view. I don't know if they're you know, trying to get back at who's, you know, pushing the agenda or the message, the script for the view, but it just doesn't seem like they're on one accord. Their show, this is what you guys do. This has got to be a new, a new gaslighting tactic to just go out and just admit all your faults, you know, that they're the biggest liars on TV and say that they're not. I mean, come on. This is they're trying to gas like the viewers right here. This is what this is. I can already see to it. To have things said that we know for a fact are not true. Mm -hmm. That's what it used to be. That's what it needs to go back to be. And that's where y'all come in. It's okay to feel how you feel, but demand the truth. Demand folks fact check what they're telling you because what they're telling you is important and on thursday like what i'm telling you now i'm telling you a fact yo there we have it guys the view hosts and their trump derangement syndrome is just off the charts the richter scale it's broken right here with the amount of trump derangement syndrome on the set of the view i just don't see how they actually believe the, you know the points that they're making out here it's saying that kamala harris is the one who has donald trump scared the debate like i i just where what world they live in where they're seeing that she is ahead or she has any type of grip or grasp that donald trump is like oh i need to you know fear this lady kamala harris because her policies are you know far superior than mine like it just doesn't make sense we know kamala Harris is a big, you know, a shell full of nothing. She's got this big shell on, but once you lift it up, you can see that there's a big nothing burger underneath it versus Donald Trump has policies. He has agendas. He has motives. He has things he wants to do for this country. He's on a mission, you know, Kamala Harris, her mission is to just build as much fame, popularity. It almost seems like she's running the game, the same popularity that we would see come with prom queen or prom king and that's not how our politics or especially our presidential candidates should be picked and not through popularity but through their policies you know what they stand for and if you're picking based off of how popular who how many celebrities are standing behind someone you are you're lost you're lost in this world i'm gonna say that guys definitely hop in the comment section though clear the air for us who is scared of who i'm i'm really lost is donald trump actually scared to debate kamala harris hop in the comment section let me know your thoughts also make sure you guys hit that share button share this out to as many facebook friends as possible you guys share the truth also make sure you guys hit that like button doesn't cost you one thing guys hit that like button for your boy also hit that subscribe button as we're on the road to the truth hop aboard for the journey i'll catch you guys on the next week Got it.